what's happening everyone welcome back to the channel and i appreciate you being here today today i am going to teach you how to make raindrop puddles or ripples if you will better on the floor in wallpaper engine so what is the outcome of today well we're going to teach you how to make technically a new particle system in which in turn will help you place in said raindrop puddles or ripples and it's only going to be basic it's not going to be anything too fancy or anything like that it's just going to be normal basic puddles um, that will just go onto the screen uh, just like these here uh, the little ripples in the water and uh, hopefully for the best it will be okay for you so where do we start so with this um in turn is we well we technically need a new particle system so what we're going to do is we're going to go to on uh, to add asset right here and go right to the bottom to the renderables and we're going to go to particle system uh you want a basic one and what we're going to call it is just raindrop models there you go nothing too fancy okay so we are now into this editor the particle editor here now this is the probably the most complicated part but it's very very simple once you know where to go and what to do uh, so with this the material you know in, in the material section here all we're going to need to do is do two changes and that is to uh, go on the albedo so we've got to change the texture and we're going to go scroll down until we find one that is called wave dot text and that will be your one to choose so once you click that press ok and you'll see that the particle is now changed on the editor so where do we go from here so i've basically got an outline of what you need to get uh the measurements etc um the scale and everything that you need so let's do this so in the shader section where it says over bright you need 0 0.5 And that is it for this section. The uh, the next one we need to go to is Sprite. So the, the system and viewport, we don't do anything with them. So we'll go over to the renders, renderers now and go to Sprite. This one, uh, we're going to go on to the orientation here and click Fixed in the drop down box. And it'll come up with axis of X, Y, and Z. For this one, we're going to do 200 in the x-axis we're going to have zero in the y-axis and 25 in the z-axis and that is for that one next one we're going to go over to the initializers so we're going to completely miss out the sphere random we're going over to the lifetime random now and with this one, what we'll need to do is the minimum will be 1, maximum will be 2, and the exponent will be 20. And as you can see, it's kind of changing the way it's all going at the moment. Now, the reason why it's kind of uh, slanted and oval at the moment is just, just because of the editor, that's all, and just the way I've done it. So um bear with me on that uh it will come into fruition to how raindrops will kind of look to you eventually once we get this started so next one you'll need uh we're going to completely miss size random we're going over to velocity random now and we're going to have every single one of these on zero apart from exponent exponent we're going to keep it one and now as you can see 
we have now kind of got, and if you turn it to a 90 degree angle, you can tell that this is the sort of angle you'd want for raindrops. So now if we click select at the bottom right hand corner, it will come in to the picture. Uh, sometimes it, you have to reset, but if not, um, what we're going to do is get these measurements in. So we're going to put 10 opacity and it's starting to come up. We're going to have the size on uh, 5. We're going to have a count at 2, which should be max anyway. And we're going to have lifetime at 0 0.5. And there you have it. You can see that they've come in now. And what we're getting what we're gonna do next is the Z axis on the Z axis here and the angles part, we're gonna turn it in 90 degrees. And there you have it. You have now got yourself some rain puddles. Now you can mix and match with these as much as you want. You can drop the opacity down if you don't want them to stand out too much. You can drop down the size a little bit if you don't want too much of a a fuss and i'll probably stick with that to be fair um that's pretty good that's a pretty good angle there so if we do this then and do uh let's just do duplicates for a minute this is a 4k image however but doesn't matter so what we're going to do now Let's get somewhat of somewhat of a uh, a picture going on here, and what we're going to do here is we're going to add asset and get the rain in. Let's get some rain in here, perspective, and there you go. It's Put this up a little bit more and that looks pretty good to me i say it looks pretty damn good uh you can uh you can up the opacity a bit more if you want to so say five probably a bit too much probably three or two or three two will do um but yeah uh that is essentially it and that is how to create a um, rain puddle particle system uh, in Wallpaper Engine. Um, now, obviously, again, you can go back into the puddles as well. Um, and you can edit however you want. You can turn down the brightness. Um, and you can, if, you, if you're ever going to change it, anything, with it, I'd probably stick to the um, uh, the sprite part of it um, because this mostly focuses on the sprite itself. So the actual uh, the the material this mostly focuses on that. So the sprite here, if you want to change it, so if you say if you want to have it as uh, like upright or something, uh, say if you're looking from bird's eye view. Uh, you'd have it as this sort of uh, this sort of view, where you can see all the puddles um, just dropping from the sky that way. Um, now, if you want me to do another tutorial on uh, how to do the raindrops exactly, um, it, it'll be a bit of bit more of a challenge. But um, but yeah, I can do it for you if you want to. Um, if you want me to do that so just let me know in the comment section down below so uh yeah i'm gonna leave this here so thanks very much guys i uh <laughs> this has changed now uh so yeah thanks very much for joining me today i hope you enjoyed this and found it informative if you did please remember to like subscribe and comment down below on your thoughts and i'll see you guys in the next one bye bye for now